David Russell, RV Shepherd, doing a quick look of this 2014 Itasca, uh, which is also made by Winnebago, very similar, uh, same body style as the last one, uh, but we'll just go through the outside and then the inside the same way we did the last one. This one has a uh, diamond shield on it, and sometimes you'll see a little bit of uh, discolorization that's that's not the paint it's actually underneath this plastic a little bit uh, it's totally just a look thing so you compare this seal the condition of this window seal compared to the last one we just looked at see this one's nice and even all the way across No, dude. Yeah, just go ahead and do your thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is not that high level of a production. <laughs> um, interesting. Same little dent here. So it may just be a manufacturer thing. Maybe it's not a dent. Maybe it's flared out uh, to come on top of this. I did notice right here in this trim piece, there's a little bit of rust bubbling. I hope you can see that in the video right there. And it looks the same on the other side. The plastic on the mirrors is a little faded compared to the other one. And I noticed this gasket here is coming out on the corner of this window. Uh, the tires are 2018, so they are right at their five-year mark. So these, even though they look good, again, the National Traffic Safety Board recommends no more than six-year-old tires be on any vehicle. Not just RVs, RVs, trucks, cars, anything. I did notice, again, I'm being nitpicky here, but a few little rust spots that, um, that the other one did not have. A little tear, again, I'm, I'm being nitpicky, but I'm comparing the two, the fade on this, uh, on this door handle. Don't see anything alarming on these windows. Same slide out system. Again, this is going to be almost exactly the same. The layout may be a little different on the inside. The propane tank. Looks good. A little dirtier than the other, but you know, dirt is just a surface thing. Through all these cabinets here and see if they open and shut properly. A sign on here in out press in out six times on the seventh something green back da, 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 da. looks like a note on how to reset the uh, slide out system of course then I would ask the question why is there a note on how to reset the slide out <laughs> does the slide out need to be reset sometimes I don't know you know these are just storage doors operate fine and looking at the underside here not seeing anything alarming and there's a couple little dents there yeah. the seal looks good it's not quite folded out all the way here but again it's just a matter of getting them to flip out looking up that window that side all looks good this right here is just uh, sealant from here so I don't know if the sealant was added or uh, you know every few years or so you're probably going to end up putting more sealant on it or something so that's probably not original from 2014 <coughs> excuse me but see also look at these ridge rails and stuff and these look pretty good a little bit of a crack right there in the sealant and yeah, not a big deal I don't know the price difference of these two uh, dauber screen missing off this one and again just this one looking a little more rusty than the last one again dauber screens are a dime a dozen they just latch on there and they don't come from the factory that way it's an add-on backup lights again i'm just going to point out some of these little rusty things got a nice guy here putting some fuel in it <laughs> he's he said that's enough gas to get you all the way back to New Hampshire. <laughs> Five gallons? Oh my God. Five gallons will get you there. <laughs> it must be solar powered. <laughs> I 
Same. I'm gonna assume the same thing here. The date codes on the inside, but they're probably the same year. Water pump bay. I'll go back to those other doors in a few minutes. Another storage bay. Another storage bay. This looks like a. Oh, these are. Oh, so nice. So this has uh, snap on screens. I'll show you about those in a minute. But you put those on top of your windows on the outside so that uh, it helps keep the sun out. I thought I saw some snaps. Or maybe they're magnet. Some of them are magnet. Go back around here. Or there could be wheel covers. See these snaps right here? That's probably why these wheels look so nice for their age is you put a wheel cover over it or maybe there's a blinder that snaps on here like a screen and that keeps the UV rays off of your tires because that's what causes them to, uh, to get old and dry rot. It's not the only thing, but... This front one here too, can't see the date code on it. And the slide out looks good. Same Schwintech system and looking underneath. Not seeing anything to, <laughs> other than getting grease on my finger. Some interesting condensation here. Let's we'll see what's under that. Well, I say condensation, it's water. I don't know the source of the water. This is a bolt for holding down probably a couch on the inside. There's another bolt on the other end. Let's see, let's look in these two that we couldn't look in because he was working. There's <laughs> a dead frog. Been there for a while. This is what I was talking about. These flip down to allow you to let these cables pass through and the door can still shut all the way. And then the generator. I'm gonna I'm gonna set you down here for a second. You probably can't see, but that'll be easier for me to open that up and let you take a look. Yeah, about the same as the other one. I didn't see a stick for pulling those awnings. Although these are, you know, and this one has an awning there where the other one didn't. And then an awning here. This is the latch hold for them. So if I see a stick, I'll come back out. Yeah, that's pretty much the outside. Let's go inside and see how that is looking. Oh, I didn't show you this, the TV. Same TV entertainment system. And then the same refrigerator vents and the vent for the stove range area. All right, let's go in where it is cool. Well, let's do this first. While we're here, I'm gonna push pause and uh, do the awnings real quick. All right, here we go. The awnings are out. This has uh, dark awnings as opposed to light awnings. So th these awnings have probably been replaced, is my guess. They look pretty new as far as the, uh, the fabric goes. I could be wrong, but they look pretty new. The light strip under there looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> Little, looks like it's coming off in a few spots and it's all warped and it's also kind of yellow. I don't know if it's normally like that. Let's... Uh, Awning lights. I can't tell if they're coming on or not. It doesn't. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like about half of them, eh, maybe a little more than half of them are coming on. And then this one, I can't tell if any of them are coming on. All right, well, let's go inside. take a look at what's going on in here. 
So up here in the driver's area, I'm gonna take my hat off so I can cool off a little bit more. Up here in the driver area, let's start the engine for a moment. Use up those five gallons of gas he just put in here. So this one has 26,900, almost 27,000 miles. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Almost 27,000 miles. Air's blowing nice. I don't hear that rumble in the last one. I don't know if I heard a little bit of a rumble down there. I'm not hearing that with this one. Engine sounds smooth. Now I'm going to... I'm going to move this up so that I can see the windshield from the inside. Yeah, windshield looks good. Okay, so these are just spring loaded. Spring's a little tired on them. Now, see, here's something that would cause me a little bit of concern. See all this wrinkling right here? That's what I was talking about. It's a potential, potential water issue. Now, granted, sometimes this happens because of manufacturing. They they don't put it on very well. Uh, a lot of times, it's caused by water. Now. Just because there's evidence of this doesn't mean that it's ongoing. See, there's some more here too. They could have had that windshield replaced. Maybe that's why the windshield's in such good condition. Again, these are blinds are a little tired. And this is that window that has that that seal there that's bent out. I didn't see any on any other windows. Same condition with the uh, seats. Feel nice and soft. Armrests are working. Don't see any rub wear on them. This has, I think, a little bit different dinette setting than the other one did, which is kind of nice. It's a huge dinette. I can imagine laying here watching TV. So that's a nice feature. And looking right here, my guess is that the cushion either comes off or folds down and then this slides in. And the same on, on this side slides in. So that when that slide out comes in, there's still gonna hopefully be room to to walk through here <clears throat> same Corian counters uh, it seems dark in here but all the lights are on well no they're not that lights not on um, is there a light that uh, doesn't make much difference <laughs> let's see I know how to work the microwave <laughs> whoa I don't know if you saw that. Something sparked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something sparked up there. I don't know if that got on the camera. I don't know if you can see that black right there. You could smell it too. So this microwave, I'm not going to touch again. That microwave may have issues. Uh, I'd say it probably does have issues. <laughs> Kitchen cabinets looking good. Pretty much, uh, as far as the cabinetry cabinetry goes, more remotes. The uh, initial glance here is the cabinetry is about in the same uh, condition as the uh, cabinetry in the last one. I have to brighten this video. Why is this kind of dark? Well, now I did it. Now there's a pin missing on that. That was supposed to hold that in place. <laughs> and now I can't get it to go back. So let's uh, let's see. Yeah, there's there's a screw or something right here, and it's missing on this side. And not a huge deal, but let's spin you around here. The uh, the sink, 
It's easier with two hands. Sink looks in good condition. <clears throat> Let's see the pantry. This this drawer slides a little a little rough compared to the other two. It's probably the one that's used the most. The refrigerator. These are not broken, but there might be one missing. All the racks look pretty good. They don't look rusted or anything. Little freezer. Let's see how this ice maker looks compared to that other one. Yeah, looks better. Screw back there's a little more rusted. All right, let's see if I can find a bedroom light. There we go. So this light still the and oh, that's the the uh, glass cover I found in the other one. That's uh, so one of the ceiling things was missing. It's it's a light uh, lens cover. So this is not a memory foam, this is more of a spring form mattress. Now see there's some loose wallpaper here. all feels pretty solid. And I'll see I'm noticing this here too. These corners. So it's a combination of things. Uh, one thing is uh, is interior humidity can do that. The other is exterior humidity which is what we call a leak <laughs> or a or water intrusion. The switch on this. Oh, there it goes. Just had to. Yeah, looking how the wood here is not damaged behind that, I would guess that this is probably more interior uh, humidity is probably what's caused that. That light's a little, a little not wanting to cooperate. Should be power, just like the other one. Oh, this one. The other one had three snaps. This one has one. Not sure that matters. I think one is sufficient. Completely taped off. Again, same thing, you know, looking around the, these roof penetration points, not seeing anything that looks like it's leaking. This is a place sometimes you'll see wall wallpaper drooping too because of internal humidity that builds up over time. But both of these look good. You can see, uh, see some more wrinkle here. Again, I think this is more about just humidity. You're in the shower room. But the fact that this RV has it and the other one didn't, combined with the rust, I don't think I opened this cabinet in the last one. Same inverter, AC controls front and back. 
status of you know various systems and then your generator start stop tank battery levels pump start and stop and things like that slide outs I always turn this thing off but to move your slide outs in and out and again I'm not seeing anything that I would consider uh, alarming so far other than the rust and the tires are older you can't hardly get back there but I don't see anything on the wall I'm looking all the way down there it's an interesting that uh, with this couch here uh, that cabinet's blocked off but you could also probably do one but not do both it's your your choice <laughs> and that one wants to slap your finger off as well There's a piece of something. It's a material. It's either the couch or roof. Looking at that circle, it's probably a vent piece uh, for a uh, for a furnace output. But I'm not seeing where it came from. Yeah, not sure. But this totally looks like couch or close to couch material, and this would be a, a heater, air uh, furnace vent for heat, probably. Not sure where that came from. There's your uh, manuals and stuff. Most of the manuals you can find online are the speaker. I don't think I did these front cabinets. So like in this one, I don't see, the other one had that wine guard unit right here, so uh, that may have been an upgrade on the other one that this doesn't have. So again, I'm just looking at the floor, looking at you know, the seals here, wallpaper and stuff. And I think this folds down somehow. The floor looks like it's in in good condition, uh, just as good as the other. And the floor, both floors, uh, you know, the floor feels solid. I am kind of curious as to where that piece of material came from. Okay, I think that that gives you an idea. Again, these spots up here. I can't really get behind them because I don't want to damage them any more. But are looking, to me again, looking probably like the rest of them, more like interior condensation. And it may be a one, and again, one time leak is not going to be a big deal. Now, this slide out is where that condensation was, and that condensation was down here. I'm gonna pause this for a second and see if I see anything. I didn't, I didn't find anything down there. So my guess is that it is exterior condensation. It just means there's probably a spot there where the air is getting out and then it's building up condensation on the bottom of the slide out. Uh, the water itself is probably not an issue unless, you know, in long, 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 long term it may be, but also if your air is escaping. Um, this is the, forward end of that uh, passenger side slide out and I'm noticing this would be a little alarming to me and I don't know if you could see that let me try to get my uh, iPhone camera here but there's some to me some considerable movement in you hear how soft that sounds whereas I think there's water damage here. You can see this black blackening of this uh, piece of trim work there. Yeah, that would give me some significant concern. Whew. The steps come in and out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just fine. So I'll put the awnings back here in just a second, but this is the conclusion of this quick look. Again, if you have any questions of something maybe that I didn't specifically mention about this, it's 2014 uh, Itasca Sonova over here in uh, Titusville. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.